Hello everyone and welcome to my new series of DAOC tutorials. Uh, just in case you guys don't know what that stands for, it's Dark Age of Camelot, which is a MMORPG uh, that came out ooh, 2001, I would say. Um, people will probably quote me that wrong. It might have been earlier, but uh, I believe it was 2001. Um, yeah, so it's one of the first in the actual uh, game genre, and then obviously <coughs> more came out, i.e. World of Warcraft and Warhammer Online and all that. But anyway, this is a tutorial regarding this MMO RPG, Dark Age of Camelot. Um, I am playing uh, the Hib Realm, uh, as I know it all too well. Uh, the other two realms, which are Albion and Midgard, I don't know too well. So, um, But I'll just go through the tutorial um, of what this whole series is going to be about and uh, just show you the ropes. So basically on this first uh, video I'm just going to show you how to get started, uh, where to level, uh, what to train in, uh, where to go to train, where the best and cool hit places and uh, <coughs> all of that. So I'll start off first, this is the create a character screen. So obviously on the right here you're presented with uh, different class types, you've got the Minotaur and the big ugly cow. Uh, you got this uh, forest sylvain, uh, little tree man, uh, then you got the little lurican, uh, then you got the elf, the shard, the forborg. But anyway, I'm going to be a celt. Uh, it does tell you descriptions down here and what they do, blah de blah de blah, you know, all games do that. Um, you can obviously choose male or female, I'm going to be the male. And then you got the different uh, types here. So mentalist, blazemaster, champion, warden bard, all the various stuff, the druid. Um, that you're going to see, but I'm going to go with a champion. So basically you get, f I think there's three or four uh, tank classes, uh, three or, f no, it's four and, um, caster classes, there's three healer types, uh, then there's two stealth classes within Hibernia. With Albion and Midgard there are different uh, ratios to classes as well, but on Hibernia this is how it is. So I'm going to be a champion. Uh, which is a tank class, uh, can train in large weapon, uh, Vela, it can also have shield as well, but I'll go through all that once we get there. So, then you create your name, so you get random ones, which I cannot pronounce. Gargigian, Gun, Donflume, Ah, Donflume, Bevwit, Garganide. <laughs> you get the drift. Basically, all these names are random because nobody actually has them and nobody can actually pronounce them, so it's not really that good. So, I'm going to see if this even works. <laughs> ah, What about with an S? Ah, oh, they didn't see that one coming, did they? And now you're on the, uh, like, basically what you look like screen. The facial features. So, as you can see, they're all changing. Um, I'm just going to keep it as one. Keep his nose. You can make it tiny or massive. Uh, his eyes are tiny and massive. <laughs> oh, God. Lips, uh, jaw, mood, make him angry. Eye colour, can't really see. If you go zoom in, you can tell what the eye colour is. Uh, skin tone, uh, the hair, for instance, you can turn him around. Oh, hair, can be bald, you can have him spiky. And uh, you've got hair colour. For some reason, they had this really bright neon blue. I don't know if this is going to have it on this class. No, it doesn't. But there you go. <laughs> uh, Seven than that. Uh, tattoos on the face, as you do for some reason. I don't know why you'd have tattoos on the face. Uh, I don't want anything. And then you can, I don't want anything! <laughs> and then you can have your size. So I'm just going to keep them as average. And once you've um, created your class, you can then go to continue. And this bring you to select character screen. So, yes, so... You, you want to see screen, and uh, then you click play. And this will then load up your character into the world. Into the world. Into the world. Ugh. Hello, um, sorry about that, the game actually crashed. <laughs> so it's not really good with the older uh, first video, but anyway, let's see if it works this time. So. You click the play button and you find Tim, fight him, and you invite him into the world. 
into the world. Ah! Okay, fair time's the charm. Uh, what I found out was um, I went through all my computer last night and deleted unnecessary files and stuff and I accidentally deleted a file that caused him to keep lagging out and crashing. So hopefully this will work and it will invite him into the world. Into the world. God damn it, get into the world! Hey, he's into the world! At last, we succeed in our quest. Well, that was a bloody long-winded quest, if I ever heard of one. Um, I found out it wasn't actually a file that I deleted. The servers were being restarted and reset. So <laughs> I was just caught in the midst of it. So, here we are, the main screen. So you got your bars here. And there's a bar there. This is your combat thing. So whenever you click on someone or attack something, all the stats and that come up here. Uh, this is your message board. So people write in, uh, like say your guild, or if someone PMs you, personal messages you, um, it will flag up in this little box here. Uh, down here, you got your your character name and then how much health you've got your endurance and then power if your class has power it'll be in here and then your XP and then here will show you um, like your targets health as well and then you got the clock which you don't have to have you got your compass and you got your your latency indicator and then here you've got uh, all the other stuff that you're gonna need so this tells you your realm points your level your weapon skill your hit points and all that blah 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 uh, you click on social, tells you what's happened in the last couple of hours or days. Tells you who's online in your guild. Uh, it's like four pages worth. Then tells you what friends are online. Um, all these have a grip. Uh, this is your inventory screen, so you place all your items there and you start off with all this stuff. It's a load of rubbish. Then you got your bags. Here tells you all your training points and then your abilities, what you can use. So I can use like blunt weapons, blades weapons, a small shield at the moment. Uh, your combat, rarely use it. Uh, magic, oh no, combat. Sorry. Once you start training, you'll get skills and like abilities of what uh, like attacks you can do. And obviously, magic will come up here if you're like a magician or whatever. <laughs> if you're a magician, um, sorry. Uh, and then here, if you're in a group, it'll sh show you the group names and how to invite and find people and follow stick and stuff like that. But anyway. This is the basic start, so you can move all this stuff around, uh, go into options, change your key keyboard, like layout and stuff. Uh, to move these, you hold down shift and just drag them, like so. Same with this one here. Uh, if you push this little button here, it turns it around. Or if you push it again, it turns it off. Uh, I usually have one here. Um, for this champion class, you're not going to need too many buttons to push. Uh, with this stuff here, uh, to get rid of things that are already on your bar, hold down shift and just right click. If you just right click normally it brings up this command prompt bar here but you just want to right click all this stuff ah what happened there they all came back to haunt me um, I normally put sprint on and then I normally go into commands this brings up his and you can bring out stick and you bring out face they always aid you in helping to attack enemies um, so say if you're running along, click here and you can click stick, it'll automatically go to him. Or if they're not in the vicinity to be stuck, you can click face and that geezer will stop running and start following him across the screen. Um, so this is the starter starter town. Uh, it's not really a starter town anymore, but anyway, this is called Magmel. Um, let me just bring up the map. You can just do type forward slash and type map. And it comes up and tells you here. I normally keep that up there. Um, so we're here, Magmel. Uh, Turner Nog, which is the main big city where you can go and train, but you can train in Magmel and various other cities dotted around the whole map. This isn't just the whole map as well, by the way. So if I go down to Silver Mountains, you can click here, and then there's another big section. Go down to Shannon Estuary. Uh, where's Shannon? Shannon! There it is. Uh, but even more. So, but if you want to go back, just click follow. Uh, the guys in yellow on the map, uh, these are the quest givers, like this guy up here. If he's got something above his head, or her head, um, it means they'll give you a quest. And then it'll give you a task to do, like kill certain people, or blah de blah de blah. Um, I'm just going to get my name up, because I'm not having my name up. 
there we go, tutorials. And of course, as soon as you start the game, uh, you're in a star guild called Turnanog Adventures. Adventurers. Um, there are star guilds for Midgard and Albion as well. Um, you can stay in this if you're very new to the game. It's very wise to stay in this star guild. Uh, just for the fact that when you ask questions, people will answer you. Um, and there's, as you saw in this socials page, which I'll just bring up now, uh, in the guild there is, that's three pages now, but there's four pages of people that you can ask. And also, when you want a group with someone, there are normally low levels in this in this starter guild as well. So it's, it makes it easier for you to level up, just to stay in this guild. So I'm just going to stay in it for for good old sake. Um, so yeah, this is Magmel. So this is a bind stone straight in front of you. So if you press forward slash bind, that will come up. So then when you die, if you die, uh, and then you release, you'll come back to this position. You are now bound to this position. Uh, various cities... Oh, close the map down. Various cities on the map uh, will let you bind. Not met, um, Some of them don't, uh, but various cities do let you bind. So it's very wise to bind if you're going to be near and around a city. Now, as you can see... There are guys here running around. Uh, these guys are in my guild. If they're in your gu guild, they'll come up as green. If they're in your group, they'll come up as yellow. Um, and if they're not in your guild and not in your group, they'll be blue. Um, just to let you guys know. So, let's start off. So, just to run, obviously it's normal. Uh, to carry on running without holding down the forward key or the W key, uh, you just press num lock and it runs you there and then you're free to do some camera work all around. Uh, I'll just explain what this portal is. Uh, it it lets, lets you go to Shrouded Island, Shrouded Isles. Um, basically that was an expansion pack that came out. It's a very good one as well. Um, so you can teleport to that other uh, like island basically. Uh, that's where the Sylvain, the Animist and the Valwalker came from. Uh, from that expansion pack. So you can go through there and port to there and level up in there if you wanted to, but I'm not going to. Uh, this guy's got a quest. Let's see what he does. So to get a quest, obviously you've got to have that yellow marker up here uh, ready and waiting. Uh, you just right click on him. And anything that's highlighted, you just keep... You can read it if you want to, but I've done this so many times, I know what it's about. And then here it tells you what you got to do. Deliver the crate of training supplies to Senator Moya. Um, I believe he's in RD, which is kind of a long walk, but then look at the XP you get. You get nearly a level, basically, and you get five silver and forty-seven copper. Woo! Uh, other quests give you like weapons and armor and stuff, but you'll see what will happen. So I've accepted that. I'm not going to go there just yet because it's a bit boring. And one day, and there's a crate of supplies, as you can see. Um, I don't think it can be destroyed. Oh, it can be destroyed, but it can't be dropped. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so then we get to the mobs. So these are just low-level starter mobs here. Um, if you at yellow is the same level as you, blue, uh, which we we'll ha won't have any at the moment, um, is one level below you. Green is two levels. Grey is three or below. Um, Grey you won't get any XP. Green you hardly get any. Blue sometimes get yellow you'll get good XP. Um, so basically aim for the yellows or the blues. Um, at these low levels, really you want to do yellows and blues. Um, and then over here you have oranges. This mudman's orange. Uh, that's one level above you, um, so I wouldn't advise to go for that as of yet. Once you get abilities, uh, more abilities and like uh, casts and stuff like that, uh, you can go for them uh, once you get in a group and stuff. Uh, there's also red, which is two levels above you, and then you get purple, which is three or above levels above you. Um, so I wouldn't advise to get go after them unless you're in a group. So when you click on a, a mob, as you can see, down here it says you examine the large frog, it's neutral towards you. So that means you can just run around freely and they won't attack you unless you attack it. Uh, you have other mobs that are hostile and you have other mobs that are aggressive. Aggressive is as soon as you get anywhere near their proximity, they'll go after you and start attacking you and try and kill you. Um, with uh, hostile mobs, I believe if you start killing one of them, then they call over their friends and more come. That's what I believe on hostile. So anyway, this large frog so this is the face so here I'm facing him now I'm not doing anything I'm just strafing around him or you got stick which will run towards him and there you go and then to attack you could have kept that button there that had that attack thing there uh, but instead I just press A which is the default key for attack and it'll start attacking 
Uh, up here it says I attack. You'll get um, like a dialogue of what's happening. So I've hit him twice, and then large frog misses me, and I've blocked his blow. He's hit me there for five damage, but then I'm hitting him for two. And then down here, you can see his health's going down, and my health is going down as well once he hits me. Um, now at this low level, there's nothing really you can do until you're level five. So it's a bit tedious in a way, but it's only five levels. It doesn't take you that long, especially when you do the quests, which I'll show you in a minute after this. Um, you'll level through to five very easily. It's very simple. Um, don't worry about your health at this level as well. It rega re regains very quickly. Sorry. <laughs> um, it regains very quickly at this level, so you're practically killing enough to kill enough to kill him. So you could just st stand here for an hour or so and get to level five uh, without doing quests, but then I prefer to do the old quests. So there you go. It's dead. I've got three XP. I've got that much health, but that will regain. And then it drops stuff to... To pick up this bag, you just double click until it's gone. And then you'll see in here that I've got frog sex. That's it. So, I'm going to go have a look, see where I've got to take this Senatal Moil Geyser. So, I'm just going to get the journal up, which you go into commands. Go to journal. This is your quest journal. So, here it is. It says, leave Magmail and travel north along the road to Ardy. Which I'm going to do now. Um, it does take a while to get there, so. It's literally just north, so if you go to Connect, Connect, and there it is, Ardy. It's not far at all, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to skip this part, and I'll see you in a little while. Hiya! And I'm back by the magic of time warp. Um, yeah, so I delivered the splides, and now i just got to speak to Senatal, and it, I did it. Just click Finish, and boom! So every time you level, them little things will come up and it'll play that sound and it'll say you've achieved level 2, as you can see, just there. Um, and then he tells you thank you and all that bloody blah, blah blah. So now I am level 2, so I'm earning XP for level 3. So as you can see, level 2. Um, you gain points to spend in your uh, spec or specialization, specialization, shall I say. Um, I advise not to use them yet, because at the moment you're only classed as a... Guardian. So once you reach the level 5, uh, you can then choose what path you want to take. So you can be a hero, or you can be a blades master, or you can be a champion. So in each of those classes, um, there's different abilities that you can train in. So don't train as of yet. Wait till you're 5 till you become a champion. And then uh, and then you can spend your points. So I'm going to carry on leveling here. i uh, going to get to level 5 and show you all that thought of jazz. Um, and in the meanwhile, I'm going to leave you there because it's quite a long video at the moment. So I will see you on the flip side. Ciao for now. Peace.